The BFC Vogue Designer Fashion Fund is really set out to recognise, support and mentor the future British global fashion brands. I'm really looking forward to seeing all of the finalists. This is an amazing opportunity for those businesses and they get one shot at it. It's quite a nerve-wracking experience for them to come in and present when the stakes are really quite high. As the panel, you know, we sense that tension. It can send people to a bag of nerves. Today we've got the judging of the BFC Vogue Designer Fashion Fund. It's a really exciting day. I think it's going to be a really good and quite passionate debate. These designers really deserve the opportunity to go for the big prize. When you see someone come in, put something on, wear it, go out and feel a million dollars and that you see that your clothing gives confidence, that's what excites me every day. You always have to be ambitious. It might seem hugely out of reach from when you're sitting, you know, in East London, a small studio, but have big aspirations. If people have a sort of love for your aesthetic, then that can evolve and turn into all manner of things. It's surface design what I do, but it's around a, a woman. And when you start working in 3D, I think that's when you, you see yourself as a fashion designer. And I think that's when it changed for me and that excites me. What I love about designing women's wear is dressing a lot of people that I admire, like Bjork or Keira Knightley or um, Diane Kruger. I've always loved clothes ever since I can remember. It's about imagination. It can entirely change how you feel. I like the transformation of clothes when you put them on. They transport you somewhere else. I've always been into creating, making things, whether it be, I don't know, pasta jewellery. My favourite TV programmes when I was little was always like Art Attack, those sorts of things I was obsessed with. I'm really excited about today, slightly nervous. Cross my fingers, it'll go well. It's very nerve wracking. Really, really excited moment for us. So what's happened since last year? I'm wondering who you're listening to. I've never met a creative director that's so astute on their oh. financials. <laughs> Where are you positioning yourself? You've got a real uniqueness. And that you're on track to do those figures. The heart of the brand is being creative, it's experimenting with colours. I think it's brand awareness that we need. Enjoy having my own business, but yeah, it's definitely tricky. So it's a very modern way of shopping for the bespoke, so that's what's quite nice and refreshing about it. You never know how it went, but it was so great to see such a diverse panel. I think the judging panel has a great level of expertise. I feel very happy and pleased and relieved. <laughs> It would be a real injection that would be a life-changing decision. I thought she was great. She's got a really profitable business. She's done very well this season. She has such yeah. a good business brain. I'm with you. I mean, she's amazing. And I think he'll go flying. Talent has to be at the core of it. Difficult, isn't it? So difficult. Having seen all the presentations, I have no idea how we're going to process this into one final winner. What I love most about Fashion Week is that it's a constant reminder of why you're in the business. You have those 10 minutes to showcase your collection exactly how you want. That's the moment that you know if you've got it right and if you've realised your vision from the start. All eyes are definitely going to be on the shortlisted designers during London Fashion Week. Mm -hmm.